I love to rant on this issue. I'm anxious on this issue. Um, having made such a lot of progress in the summer, I'm nervous about um, momentum being lost. And because ultimately, obviously, um, this scandal at the center of our democracy can only ultimately be put right by politicians. And so it seems to me right to be at all three party conferences to try and identify those politicians who really are going to be on our side. I mean, an awful lot stood up on July the 13th and appeared to have grown a pair of balls. And I'm interested to see which ones are actually going to use them uh, and which ones are going to stay on side. I see that what I think the whole country sees and what the world sees to the shame of, of our nation, which is that we really have two presses now here. We have two newspaper industries. One, terrific, the best in the world, to be defended at all costs. Uh, it's a cornerstone of our democracy, and we should all be very proud of it. And then hiding, as though using a human shield uh, within that industry, another newspaper industry that used to be concerned with journalism, but over the last 20 or 30 years really has a new a business model completely. And that business model is the appropriation of British citizens' privacy, one of their most fundamental human rights, as outlined in our Human Rights Act. They like to appropriate it very often through criminal means and not for journalistic purposes, not for in, in, in the public interest, but for commercial profit. And whereas you would have thought that in an advanced and civilized country like this, that scam would have been identified ages ago and legislated against, in fact, the exact reverse has applied for a very long time. They've enjoyed a kind of immunity from the law. They've managed to corrupt large sections of our police force through intimidation or through money or through whatever. They've um, effectively castrated our parliament for a long time through intimidation. And our five successive governments have not only turned a blind eye to their excesses, but have competed to be sycophantic to them, to laugh at their jokes, to, to, to welcome in them in through the back door of number 10.